Hello everybody and welcome to another Brick in the Mall part 4. So today I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing, but we're going to be doing something. <laughs> We've just got our uh, appliance store and our clothing store off the ground and our little store in here is doing well. In fact, everything is doing quite well. We're making a bit of money. Although not today so far, but then it is 6 o'clock in the morning, and who's out at 6 o'clock in the morning? We have no debt, which is great. Uh, we're getting towards our customer limit. But we've got our car park coming on here, so let's speed the time up. Get back into the game. Let's see what's going on on day 41, which is great. Um... I was debating opening this road up here, but I'm not sure when that research is coming. Uh, or if I... Oh, I did I did open it up. That's good. So I just need to kind of pay for that if I want to join it and connect it to a road. So we will keep watching this as we go along. I apologise that the audio in the last three parts, the, the the game is so loud, like, I'm hoping that I've been able to fix that. And this guy, this guy's taking forever to get this road built. Hopefully today we'll be able to make some good money. We're already making some good profit. The mall is fairly clean, it's not great, but... It's not horrendous. I haven't got any warning options yet, so that's good. Everybody seems happy. The food is running. If it's okay. But we're not quite on the 8,000 we were yesterday, although the money is still pouring in. How are we doing on guests? On customers, sorry. Quietening down as the day comes towards an end. Not quite going to hit that 8,000, I don't think, today. I think yesterday was a bit of an anomaly. We have a crazy day, but we shall see. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting close. Although the stores are all about to close, can we hit it? Uh, no. Oh, mind you, this. When is this open till? Okay, so they can like all finish an hour earlier than that because that's going to eat into the profits of that. For sure. Let's see how everything. You bear stuff 45%. Techno bear 75. Fresh bear 20, not great. Forever fur 86. And bear treats 52. I think food should be higher, but what are they saying? Q's full. Bear treats. Okay, so this happened at 1958. I wonder if that's just because we had a weird kind of staff thing happen. Um, might be worth keeping an eye on that later on in the day. Okay, so we've got we've got this side. I'm not going to put parking in quite yet. However, I do want to see what we've got. I've got restaurants. I've put in restrooms. So we're looking at a tool supplier, appliance supplier. What kind of stuff was in Technobear? Is this Technobear? Nope, this is Technobear. So this is like... Wash and go. 81%, wow. That's, that's really good profit margin. I, a really good profit margin indeed. Right, let's do some construction work then. What is there a need for? So we've almost got bowling, movies, liquor. Apparently we sell no liquor, no beer and no wine. Useful. I still don't understand why this woman keeps running around. Odd game, odd game. 
Okay, so it is a little busier in there. Q's full. Not now. Okay. So over here, I think I want to put in a, a liquor store of some variety. Just to get us selling that, because we do need... Oh, we're nearly about to hit the 10,000 profit. Woo! Uh, 200 customers on site. 50,000 total sales. So I think maybe we put in a liquor store and then we look at connecting the road down here because we do need 20,000 for that. So let's let's build. Let's go to foundations. And maybe this can be our liqueur store it's gonna be a really funky shape isn't it never mind they're building it away as we speak let's put some doors in staff door into here they can share the storage and we'll also put a staff door back here and we need a double door in the front and maybe it maybe a double door in the side there too I kind of like that now, what goes on here? Beer and wine. Ah, let's put order counters in first. Oh, check out counters, sorry. I don't know how busy this could be, so let's just put that there, that there, and that there. Uh, what goes in this? What did I just select? Shelf. Regular shelf. Okay, so we want food shelf. There, I want that here, like this. I'll have this, and then I think fridge. Yeah. Fridge is across here. And maybe like here. Cool, so that should, that should have sorted that problem out. Uh, so we'll now select... Oh no, we need to assign first, don't we? Store. It's a funny little funny little shaped store. And let's go into... Store 13. Let's rename this... Revenge... Of the boom, Boozy Bear. Because obviously we had Boozy Bear. And we closed it because it fell apart. Oh, excuse me. I've got a real sniffle today. I'm not sure where that's come from. Uh, let's open that at 11 and we'll close at 10. So we're open for 11 hours. In fact, let's make that... 11 and then we can have two six hour shifts that run okay so beverages liquor liquor beer 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 and then we'll fill this whole rack here with wine wine so they can get extra tipsy. And then in the fridge, how much kind of... So there's only re really beer and juices and bottled water. So we'll put a couple of beers in. A couple of bottled water because, you know, you might be hungover. Um, a couple of juices and some sodas for mixing with the liquor okay so that should be our store set up now we'll assign the storage as here and we need to hire some cashiers oh none of you are great but you'll do uh, you can start at 11 and come in for
get eight hours. Uh, you can come in at... So what time do we close? Midnight. So I need to work backwards eight hours from midnight. So that is... Blah, 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 blah. Four o'clock. So you need to come in at four o'clock. We'll have a little bit of an overhang in the middle. That's grand. Am I open till midnight? No, I'm open till 11, so I can push that back an hour. Because you don't need to stay that late. Uh, stock. Anybody like stocking? You like stocking there. And you can come in at like 7 a.m. and work for eight hours. All right, let's let's see what happens with this one. Oh, that person was well excited about a bit of liquor then. It's like, yeah, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Let's get wasted. I might need to put a little access road in here. In fact, I think I'm going to do that now. And put some like parking bays around the back for staff and loading. I think that's a good plan. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They're stealing! They're stealing my booze! Stop! Why is there nobody here? Where is my... We'll come... What? You're meant to be here covering my shop! Oh, dear. Wow, minus 34%. Our profits did not do great yesterday, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, I want a loading zone here and here and here. And I want staff only parking here, 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 and here. And here. Can't put a bus stop in yet, but that's fine. I can deal with no bus stop. So let oh what's this research tool supplier ah new type of star this is much better than having to go through the shop we can go through here too so were there any problems yesterday except from that no it doesn't look that way everybody is happy. Got my new loading zones here. I'm gonna have my new staff parking here, which means I'm actually gonna get rid of those. I think. So let's move this because I now have plenty of staff parking and plenty of loading bays. Do I have any other loading bays? No. In that case, let's remove this road work. Let's. Let's remove that road work. Um, let's build a road that takes us around the back of this. This must be built. Um, and we'll, we'll pop this down here like this. Because then we can have loading zones all across there. Which I think will be a fab plan. Queues full. Oh, queues are full. Okay, so I need to get another. So that was at like 5 o'clock. It happened 26 times. And now it's even worse because I've only got one cashier. Alright, so. 
change of plan today. Change of plan. We are going to get some more cashiers in. Revenge of the Boozy Bear. Let's get another cashier in. Nobody likes to be a cashier. You like to be a cashier. And you can do 11 till whenever that is. Great. And another ca... No, I don't think I need another cashier. I need one later on, though. Um, maybe you can do, like, a late shift, like a little shift. Speed zero. You'll be better. Uh, you can come in at, like, there and work. Where does that take me? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four hours. Perfect. Alright, and we are back in business, although oh, they haven't taken the square out yet, so I may have a, be having a few problems with deliveries. Just remove this already! Stop messing about. Again, excuse me for my sniffles. Hopefully Revenge of the Boozy Bear will do a little bit better today. Those guys are all parked in. It'll pick up by 11. Just get that spot removed. And then. What, is, what are they even building? Where is my building? Ah, at last. And then let's get some loading zones. So we'll put loading zones in here. And customer parking. No we, we will get staff only parking. I love that. And then I can remove this road work in here. Yes, this is ticking away much better today. Much better. Look at that. Steady, steady. No little angry notifications that say full queues and then let's build that into customer parking and that should have ooh, ooh, we did quite a lot yesterday we are getting close to the parking spot limit so we're still doing quite a lot even this late on Yes, it's it's it's. I think it's worth having the two cashiers there. Let's see how well Boozy Bear did. Minus four percent. So it's not quite right yet. Main product is beer. Assigned storage eleven. What my wants and needs. Liquor. I'm not really meeting it. Beer. I'm kind of meeting it. So that kind of suggests to me that I could do the liquor expansion. So I might actually open this space up in here and um, and have that as a like liquor store. Let's take that ball down. And then we can extend this along here and put a few extra rows up there too. Where is my builder? Do I have a builder? Apparently not. God, I need to get a bit more building going. Because I don't feel like I'm ever going to be able to get anything done at this rate. You can, you can work for like 10 hours. Just get it done. 
just get it done. What time does this guy come in? Is it two? Is he about to arrive, or is he not shown up, or... I thought I had three cashiers on all the time. Oh, he's here now. He could have done with being here a little earlier. He could have done with being here a little earlier. So let's put him up to nine hours. Or ten hours is probably better. And let's make sure that we've really got that stock. Because there's a lot of scope for potential in this store, I'd say. I may actually need a, mind you, accuser for restaurants because they are hungry and there are no restaurants open. Maybe I should look at extending that. Aha! Finally! Oh, that's awkward. Let's let, let's do away with that. Uh, remove objects? Yes. And the random door that's just sat there. And let's build a staff door here and a wall here and this can be like a little liquor section oh a sign I forgot you had to do this bit there we go so we'll make this liquor, this liquor, this liquor, and there we go. We should have enough types of liquor to keep the world happy. How am I doing on cars? So 130 is still my peak. I still haven't hit that daily profit. Or oh, had the 200 customers on site. Do not fear. We've got more customer parking available now. We're not doing great. Possibly we had a bad day. I'm not sure. And this guy starts earlier, but no one seems interested today in what's going on in Boozy Bear. Huh. It's a pain. It is cold in my room today. I'm sat with a duvet, like, cuddled around me. I'm like... <laughs> I left the window open overnight, and that wasn't a good plan. Now it's freezing, and the heating is not on. Look at this. This store is absolutely empty today. What is going on? Like, why have I got so few guests on site? Uh, I call them guests because I always play Planet Coast, but they're actually customers, I guess, aren't they? Shoppers is probably a better word. Shoppers are here to shop till they drop. Not a great day for profits today. Well, I say that we made seven grand. It's better than a kick in the teeth. Let's see how that does in comparison on the graph. So, yeah, not great. But we had a real spike there. That's when we got rid of... Ah, I know what we're not doing. We haven't really been monitoring what's going on so you bear stuff yeah. really struggling at 45 percent restroom three oh i wish it was like roller coaster tycoon you can charge for the charge them 10 cents use the bathroom techno bear had a real dip in profits recently down to 71 
Fresh Bear, 28, that's better, at least it's making something. Uh, Forever Fur, Grey, Bear Treats, not too bad. Uh, wash and Go, 77, okay. Revenge of the Boozy Bear, horrific. What happened between yesterday and today that caused us to go from making a profit to losing everything? Like, what actually happened? Did nobody want booze? Was it Monday today? What, what happened there? I'm not sure. So we've got bits of our mall opening up. More, more, more. Mall, mall, mall. How do you like it? How do you like it? I'll stop singing now. <laughs> I thought this liquor section would help. It has not. I thought they wanted liquor. I gave them liquor. Oh, it's starting to pick up again. And what has happened here? Do I not have a stock clock in here? What? Oh, no. Why is there nothing on these? Oh, dear. Uh, something's gone terribly wrong here. Um, what store is this? Yeah. Fresh Bear? No. Techno Bear? Yes, Techno Bear. That's why the profits have gone down. Where's... Stuck in traffic? For 12 hours? Where the heck's the traffic? 12 hours? Oh, this store is going to be horrific today. And look at this. This is. She better come to work tomorrow. She's a. She's a brick addict. Oh, she's just like me. Can't resist brick-based toys. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. And she's a good human being. We shall give her a chance. Even though she's apparently still stuck in traffic. She better turn up tomorrow. Maybe she's just stuck in a void of traffic forever. Because I didn't make any money in Techno Bear yesterday. Thanks to you, Nora De La Cruz, with your fancy surname. I hope she turns up today, otherwise I'm going to be peed off. Five o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay, she's still stuck in traffic. What? Okay, I'm sorry, Nora, but... I think you're glitched. I don't think you're ever coming back. Like, ever. I think you're lost forever. Oh, you can come back. Right, let's let's try and hope because it's about to open up when I'm zero stock. At home, we'll come to work in two hours. It looks like we found her. It looks like we found her. She was stuck forever in a glitchy traffic jam. And I hope now that I will actually have some stock in my shop. Hooray! At last. Yesterday's profit, I bet, was horrific. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that dive there from Techno Bear not being stopped. Like, you really have to watch like and micromanage stuff in this. So we seem to be okay here. Plenty of room arrest rooms for resting. Ooh, two dollars, three dollars. Where is my stock person for here as well? Because we're almost out of washing machines. Hmm, that's no good. 
This is a little filthy. And I'm paying all these builders to stand around and do nothing. I do like my little cute mall though. It's super cute. Although it's more like a bowling, movies, still want more liquor, got enough soda, candies we're good on, beer we're not so good on, wine we're not so good on. Fresh meat, fresh fish, detergents we don't sell at all, hand tools, power tools, music CDs, first aid, drugs, jewellery, laptop computers. Oh, that's all about to change because obviously we have now restocked. So I'm going to let that play out for another day in the hope that... In the hope that it will balance the percentages back out once we actually have stock on the shelves. It looks like the shop is full now, so we should be able to meet some demands for that. It's so, so quiet. Do, 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 do. Should we, I think it's about time that we try and try to get this road down here linked. Because, so what's the spacing like for this gigantic mall? So if we were to build the road just literally directly down from here. Nope, because that's customer parking road. Oh, it literally goes straight down there. I have no idea how much that was going to cost. They cost 300 apiece, so that was probably very expensive. And I probably have no money left. Oh, we've got bowling. We've got bowling. So the grand plan will be that this road will join, and then this road will join to here, and this road will join to here, and this road will join across here, and then we'll have a super mall in the middle. Super mall. And the whole world will be wonderful. And Trevor's going to take six years to build the road. Oh, we could definitely look at getting a bowling alley. Although, maybe I need more people first before... Before we can get a bowling alley. Because I don't want to... I don't want it to be that we put a bowling alley in, but we don't have enough people to make a bowling alley profitable. Like, at the minute, everything's kind of ticking over. This is going to cause chaos, I think, when I open this road up. When it gets done... Oh, it's still got so far to go. Do I have some more builders? Come on, build away, Trevor. The place is not massively tidy. Revenge of the Boozy Bear. Are you actually making money? No. Wash and go. You are, but I think I need to do something with the stock. Where are the staff? Staff. Stock. I think you need to come in for a little bit longer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this is not acceptable. But I know that that's kind of okay because it's not the queues aren't getting full there. Is this done yet? No, we've still got a... M oh, and you're... You're up for a tea break, are you, pal? Done enough for the night. Passive-aggressive working. Finished, are we? <laughs> Fancy the McDillon... McDillons, bloody hell. That's because I watch... Uh, one of my favourite YouTubers plays this game. And... Yeah, his restaurant is called McDillon's. <laughs> I don't know where this sniffle has come from, but it's really frustrating. It's like, suddenly my nose has become blocked. It's been fine all day, and now it's blocked. Like, the second I sat on my computer to record this. Oh, the human body. It likes to betray me. I think I'm going to need some more parking space as well, but I want this to be... This isn't even being worked on. Oh, 
Uh oh. What's going down? Restaurants. Because they are hungry and there are no restaurants. No rest at home. No restaurants. So it might be worth us opening this a little bit earlier. Like, let's have a look at... This is still not doing well. Why? There was demand! Bear Treat's 45. That's okay. Like, it says there's demand, yet there's not enough customers coming in. God, just finish the blooming road. Finish it. Finish it. Like, we peaked and then we dipped. Like, it started to fail miserably. Like, I'm not sure even what's going on in here either, because that's, like, dead too. Like, the whole mall just seems to f be dead. Yeah, I've, like, I've reached a stagnant point. Is this done? Is anybody actually working on it? Yes, it's done. Click to unlock this. Cost 20,000. Unlock. Let's bring those punters in. Tomorrow is a record-breaking day, he says. Let's get some customer parking in here. Let's expand. Let's grow. Let's make it work. So we've literally worked through the whole episode for today. It's it's all about today. Today is the day that hopefully we'll have a shed load of of new customers who been unable to reach our mall because they don't live on this side of the map. And obviously outside of the map there's no physical way to travel from there to there. All my little delivery people are stocking up. Look at that. Look at them go. Look at them filling up. Right. Store number one. Open. Let's see how it goes down. How today shapes up. Come on. Make this happen. We're nine o'clock. Cars are coming in. Look, cars flooding in. Flooding, they're flooding. They're not flooding. Come on. Let's hit some more customers. 104. Okay, we're, we're climbing still. 130 is our record. Oh, we just, we just, we just went past 130. 140. Oh, yeah. Let them come. Just keeping an eye out on my chill, my chills, my tills as well. We could have problems in... Bear treats. Oh, we could have problems in Boozy Bear. Lots of these new customers. Whoa! Nearly 200. We're so close to 200. Come on. Oh. Oh, look. Oh, we were about to hit it. Oh. That is a real shame. Oh, yes. Lots of... Bear fur. Full. Bear treats. Full. Revenge of the Boozy Bear. Full restaurants. Wow. Wow. I'm going to miss some sales today. So I need... This was a problem. This was a big problem. And restaurants was a problem. $12,000 profit. We're about to smash this. Let's watch the clock reset. This is... We should get through everybody. No, we didn't quite get through everybody. This is filthy. I'm going to have to hire more janitors. Because, yes, look at that. We we still haven't reached that one. But that's, that's not a problem. Right, so next episode, we're going to get some more janitors in. We're going to expand. We're not going to expand this because I don't know how to expand this. We'll maybe like put a little corridor on the edge here. 
and wrap this round. Um, yay! Because we had problems. So restaurants. Yeah, boozy bear full, bear treats full, forever fur full. So let's let's look at doing that. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. I have been a you bear. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your fabulous day. All right, guys, I'll catch you soon. Bye.